Yo, what is good, YouTube? Back with another video, and today we're gonna be playing some Devil May Cry 4 Special Edition. Um, we're gonna see how long can we long last in the Bloody Palace. Almost fucked up my wording right there, but we're gonna see how long can we last in the Bloody Palace with Virgil. And uh, yeah, let's see how this goes. No, I don't end up sucking, but you know, let's just get it on anyway. If you want me to do, uh, if y'all want me to do like the Devil May Cry 5 version of this video, I for sure will. Uh, I'm just seeing how far I can go. I'm not necessarily trying to see if I can beat it, because that obviously uh, takes too long. So, this video will end as soon as I die. But, uh, let's actually start cooking. I look so crazy. I look so cool, bro. <clears throat> Anyways, I've been playing Devil May Cry, the series, the games in the series, for like, for, for the past few weeks or two, past month, and I can say, I love this game. The game is just too fun, bro. And it's pretty fun, combo is that. Uh, if I were to do a ranking, uh, I will leave that in for another video, as since I played the games, I'm gonna start doing reviews of the game. I feel like y'all should get that instead, instead of me just ranking them. Cause I feel like a, I feel like reviews would be better. These dudes can mess up your no damage run if you find no damage. Come on. <clears throat> oh yeah, cool, cool. Nice, let's go. Next room, next room. Hopefully I can pass stage 20. Stand aside. Well, I thought I got damage, that was gonna say. All right, no damage so far. And um, okay, these enemies are pretty easy. Take him down, he's gotta do this. Make sure uh, you don't get cocky. And actually kill them. Because they will catch you off guard. That's the worst part about it. So, originally I did have a video like this. I had to come out last week. Uh, but unfortunately, uh, the software crashed my video and glitched it. Plus the video was too long anyways. And I feel like my voice was so low in that video. So, <clears throat> but, uh, I'm gonna just remake the video. And now I'm doing this. Which I feel like this is way better to begin with. But I wasn't so vocal in that video. And plus, it, it, it just sounded low. So, I feel like y'all deserve way better for me. So, No. What? Fuck. Damn, it was only two more of them anyways, too. It actually sucks. That's good. We're good, we're good. Don't trip about it, don't trip about it. We gonna keep going. I didn't even know that. that. Okay, hold on. They're being annoyed now. Alright, bro. Alright, bro. I can just use judgment cut on them. But nah, that wouldn't be fun. So let's just do it. They're just being annoying with that. Just hit them with that. That's gonna help. That's gonna help you get rid of uh, enemies blocking moves. Blah blah blah. You'll be good with that if you use that. If you use that, then you'll be able to get to uh, their blocking phase. And you'll be good. That off real 
quick. Crazy. Honestly crazy. Let's go. We're doing good. We're doing good so far. We're doing good. Five minutes into the recording. This is going to be unedited, by the way. The only thing that's going to be videos, the music, and the background. And let me know if I should keep putting background music into this. Obviously, it's not going to be that loud. I want to be loud. You hear the gameplay and the music. I mean, and, the, and my voice as well. That's what I meant to say. But I also thought it would be cool aesthetic on my part. I feel like, damn, what the fuck? Like I was gonna say, I feel like everyone should, and they want, and they like play Devil May Cry. This game is so fun. I feel like this game, everyone should play, and I will say why. Reason is because, well, it got good story, it got good gameplay, and the character designs are just honestly fire like for a video game bro it's just beautiful to me you know and it, it's challenging but it's not too difficult if that makes sense oh my god lock in real quick Seven minutes in. Yeah. I just bought some easy. Just do the same thing. thing to do is never let them get back in their form right after that because they are annoying to take down especially if you're playing as hero all right there you go yeah just do that to them they're too annoying to take out just do that to them trust me you just want to get rid of them as quickly as possible when, when you fight them. Calm one up real quick. Yes, sir. Virgil is one of my favorite characters in this game. I don't know why, but his... But his quest for one in power is understandable when you look at it. If you read the manga... Well, I haven't read it, but I've watched the story about it. Uh, he was once just a normal child, but then him watching his mother die changed all all of that changed when he watched his person that the uh, person that watched him uh, birth him die. Well, he he didn't watch her die necessarily. Uh, he thought at first she abandoned him, but found out later she died. But then. Because of that, him watching, him knowing that his mother abandoned him, at, he didn't know he died at she died at the time. He raised the development of knowing that he should only really depend on himself and power, and that's where his power, that's when his motivation for power came, and that's what I like about him. In life, you don't want to be weak. You don't want to be weak in life. Trust, you don't. But if you're weak in life, huh? It's terrible. You know, people will take advantage of you. You show a nice guy. So then, he started trying to get more powerful, but then the only problem is that he was losing his humanity. Because don't forget, they're both, Dante and Virgil, they're both winter cards. They're both uh, hybrids, so they're human. So they're. They should have that humanity side. Even then, they could still turn out being evil, obviously. And that's what Virgil ended up turning out to be. But you can low-key understand his 
uh, what's it called, his motivation behind it, because, you know, you wouldn't want to be weak yourself, either. I wouldn't want to be weak as well. So that's why he's my favorite character. And plus, his Yamato or Yamato is just one of my favorite weapons. It's, it can separate demons, it can do a lot. And he's super fast, too. I just like his character overall. Pretty cool to me. But I like how they both make the antagonist. Um, what's his name? I like how they make both Dante and what's his name? Virgil. Relatable. Alright, now I'm gonna do the Virgil. focus I somehow survived yeah I was not gonna sit there and let this get wrecked by him so I just decided to do that my fault if y'all think that's cheating my fault if that seems cheating but it's really not I just want to get him out the way alright do the same thing for these dudes Y'all want me to do a, a version, uh, if you want me to do Bloody Palace, but it's Devil May Cry 3, and also Devil May Cry 5, but yeah, let me know, I would definitely do that. Give me a boss. Hopefully, it's not those stupid hard boss. When I was doing this off stream, I would get my butt whooped by the boss. If you want me to do this with other characters, let me know. Because I will for sure will do it with other characters. I'll do it with Dante, I'll do it with Nero, Lady Fruits, even though I've never played with Lady or Trish before. I never played Lady, so. No, it's maybe y'all got like with them. 
Last time I stopped right here, and I did not mean to hit him. I don't know why I made me hit him, unfortunately. does that you're good as long as you don't grab you you're good bye bye all right as you can see i'm for some reason not getting no health but it's all good because we're not that low health anyway time your price just time your shots that's all that matters you don't want to mess up but you can't even attack a white in that day. Grab you, go into devil trigger mode. I forgot you can do that. So you won't lose or nothing. Okay, now they get a little weird with the combos now. Good thing I was able to get rid of them, because you know that would have been bad. Smoke box in. Sorry if I'm not talking a lot, but you know, what I when I'm trying to focus is like, you know, I can't really talk that much. Oh, oh man, we got health too. Okay, we're back in the game. Oh, okay, we're back in the game. By the way, as soon as the video ends, as soon as I die, the video ends. Alright, I got no damage on that, I like that. That's the first time I got to see it, by the By the way, for some reason this dude can block out your judgment cut. You can block, and that's the worst part. So be careful when you're about to use it. You don't want to get caught like me. I swear you don't. There we go. Oh, 
know what I'm saying? Just have to do that real quick. I'm gonna probably edit some of the parts out. And no, I wouldn't be cheating because you know that would be lame if I actually was. If I edit some parts out, it's like because I just want to cut the video shorter. I'm all good on me, like, I'm touch. Oh, they trying to, they trying to keep me cooked alive. to think they're just gonna give me these enemies. Unless, you know, there's a boss coming soon. Yeah, like I said, I'll be fully just to think that. So unfair. Bitch, why are you out the map? Oh, one more. The, the, the blades I'm using, these got nerfed heavily in Devil May Cry 4. Unfortunately, but they're, they're still good. To an extent. Not bad. These are way better. right now for this video no, you know I'm surprised he's still alive to be honest okay. this is actually pretty candid Oh, yeah, 
I forgot you can parry that at the right time. What the fuck is that? Well, I beat them without the summon sword. I'm actually glad that I'm starting making videos again. I'll just... No, but... Oh, wait, wait, wait. What? Wow, I got it. Well, that is the end of the video now. Um, if you like this video... Oh, I got to stage 34. If you like this video, comment and subscribe. Back on the grind. And also thank you for 140 subs. Anyway, I'm out.